Hello everybody. This will be a video from Full Throttle Adrenaline Park, their Florence location. I went up there and got the Adrenaline Pass. My family was in there doing the Rage Room, so don't forget that that exists at these places. They had a hell of a lot of fun with it. But we're heading out. This is my third race of the evening. I am in a cart that is pretty fast. It's cart 33. I'm out with four other people. One person was uh, within two to five tenths uh, as close to me, you know, they were a little bit slower than me, but only about two, two tenths to five tenths off. So they, you know, I didn't actually see them at all once the race got going because I wasn't fast enough to catch them and they weren't fast enough to, to, to catch me. But we had three other people that were a little bit newer at the whole thing and just a tad bit slower. But, you know, we did a, or I did a decent job of not blasting them too much and they did a good job of, uh, being aware of their surroundings and not driving around as a, uh, complete roadblock so as you can see the layout has not changed from some of my earlier earlier videos I'm kind of glad I like this layout it's a lot of fun there are a few places to pass um, I, I it's not you know it, it doesn't put a ton of strain on you so you can drive it a little more comfortably for a dur you know longer period of time I know like if I, if I drive the adrenaline layout up at the full throttle um, Cincinnati location that one can kind of wear on you after a while. It's um, it's pretty long, constant turning. There's a few places where you can relax for just a second coming around through some of these turns because they're not that hard. And when you you, know, you, you can use the uh, the cart itself to make the turn without having to steer, you know, put a lot of steering input into it. So it's it's a it's a pleasant drive for me around this track. I think right up here is when I blast the wall. Nope, next lap. So right there where I go really close to the curb on the left. This next lap, I'm going to test that curb. I kind of thought that it had more give than it did because I knew it was going to you know, rub it, but I had no idea it was going to knock me all the way across the track like it's going to do here in just a second. And you're pretty much going full blast through here. So I'm going pretty, oh, this must be the next lap. Oh, actually it is, it's, uh, it's actually two laps away, but Stay tuned. So right here, I catch up to one of the drivers. It's a little bit newer. Um, gave her a little bump. Um, got her a little cattywampus there, but I let off the gas, and she got straightened back out, and I was able to get around her on the hairpin section. Um, I passed her, her a few other times and some of the other people, and like I mentioned, they, they were good at, you know, being aware that I was coming up and, and scooching out a little bit, let me go past without much issue. I did run um, some halfway decent times. I'm around 200 pounds, so I've never broken into the 22s at this track, although some of my uh, lighter friends get into 22s with regularity. Uh, my best time prior to this to this session here was a 23.1. I did not get any faster than that, although you got a 23.6 in this heat and then a 23.4 in the next heat. It does... Um, you know, these are rental car tracks, so these carts do take a beating, as you're going to see. I'm going to put a little beating on it here in just a second. So some carts are always going to be a little faster than others. So, bam, I hit that. I thought there was some give right there, but there was no give. And it shot me across the track and almost spun out. So now I'm jumping to my last session. Oh, but as I was saying, the, um, you know, you're going to have some variance in the carts. It, it does, you know, your fast times are going to be somewhat dependent on the cart. They will say that they're all the same speed, but... They're not, but they're all kind of close. But when you're looking for those extra couple tenths, it does help to get one of the carts that will give you the extra couple of tenths. My um, two previous carts prior to this, number 33, they were okay, but I, I wasn't able to get as low as I got in this one. 33 was fairly strong. I got my best time ever in the 36, so if you're in there and you get in the 36th, or the number 36, it should be relatively good for you unless something bad has happened to it in uh, between my uh, time in it and your time in it. But these are just some of my last laps. I, I got a 23.4 somewhere in this section of footage. Not sure where, but it's in there. And uh, it was good enough for, I think, I was the top time of the week. And it's winter time, so I don't know if the track slows down a little bit when it's cool. I have no idea how that stuff works on an indoor concrete. I don't know what the... Uh, the, uh, the characteristics are and you know how it fares with temperature changes 
but um, sometimes it is a little bit slick in the winter time. But by, the, by this heat right now, this cart was nice and warmed up. My tires, this was the, I did two heats in a row where I did not get out of the cart. I just stayed in it, and that gave the tires ample time to warm up. So, as I mentioned, this is my favorite layout, so if you get your chance to get down here, uh, definitely do so. It's worth the trip. The Adrenaline Pass is very affordable. I've gotten for about, I don't know, like 55 bucks or whatever, 60 bucks, whatever it is, I've done about eight or nine races before. So, you know, you're getting well, you know, at that pace, you're getting an under $10 average per race, which is pretty good. You're going to get all the racing that you want to get in on a two-hour adrenaline pass. So that's it. See you all at the next video.